Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is actually, wait, happy five minute Friday. We're talking about five products for five minutes and today comes directly from you guys requesting me to do my top five favorite primers for dry skin. Now here's the thing. I don't use a primer every time I use foundation, but I do use primers for when my skin is extra dry. If you're using a foundation that's supposed to last and it's really good, it should perform well on its own right over your skincare. Sometimes there will not need to be like a barrier, a smoother, a situation. I do feel that primers can be a little gimmicky unless you have targeted skin concerns, which hello, if you're watching this, you probably do. And that skin concern is probably dryness, which is what I have. Going over from most hydrating to, you know, still hydrating, but some other specific issues being addressed. So Let's go ahead and get started. The very first one I'm gonna get out of the way because I've been talking about this a little bit lately. The Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. I love this primer. I really feel like it actually adds an extra step of hydration onto my skin and I actually find myself having to be careful about the amount that I apply on my skin after I moisturize and before I apply my foundation because it feels so nice and it gives me such a hydrated look that I just wanna keep rubbing it in my skin. But really just a pea sized amount of this will cover your entire face. You see your face and you got the dry, you know, the dryness, the dry patches, and then you apply this. There is something about it. It seems to just kind of melt away those dry problem areas. It works very well with multiple types of foundation from luminous satin to matte finishes. Next is a primer that I have used for a while now, and it is the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Now this is still very moisturizing, but what this does that the Armani doesn't do is kind of have a little bit of a blurring action. This is more for, you know, dryness and just kind of you need like a plumping up effect. This gives you a little surge of moisture as well as blurs pores and fine lines. Really kind of helps you on your like dehydrated days not look so dehydrated in the forehead and underneath the eyes and things like that. I mean, I'm almost out of this. This might be in like another empties video. Now next is kind of like a two in one. If you are someone that that needs to like just likes minimal skincare, minimal makeup, but you still want to use a primer and you still want that hydration. I highly recommend the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. This is a primer and a moisturizer in one. And I know that sounds gimmicky, but it really does work. I love the way it moisturizes my skin on its own and underneath foundation, right in the middle of the hydration zone. Uh, like I said, all of these are hydrating, but Again, this is right in the middle, even though it is a moisturizer. I just find that when I apply this by itself, which is what it calls to do, it's not as moisturizing as it would be if I applied it over a moisturizer. Does that make sense? That's why it's in the middle. Formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant-derived silicone alternative. Now this is supposed to kind of like blur imperfections. I don't find that it necessarily blurs imperfections as much as it kind of helps your makeup last a little bit longer and hydrates. Next is something I had to kind of like fight to pick this one because this isn't necessarily a primer. I love to use a tinted moisturizer as a primer and here is why, because usually you get an SPF, you get a little bit of extra coverage so you can go lighter on your foundation and it's gonna help your makeup last under your makeup because tinted moisturizers are meant and made to last anyway. So I find that they're great for primers and one of my favorites is the unisex healthy glow all year hydrating summer tint moisturizer from charlotte tilbury i've been using this for years i love it i love i'm wearing it today underneath my foundation i actually just filmed my full coverage foundation routine if you'd like to see that i'm not sure if that's going up before or after this, but I will link it whenever it does go up. But this is what I use when I need a little extra coverage, a little extra moisture, and just a boost overall. And last but not least is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Illuminating Silicone Free Primer. I have raved about this 
forever and here is why because I like to actually spot prime with this I won't necessarily apply this all over my face as a primer but I love going in with this underneath my eyes and anywhere I want to highlight and glow through my makeup and then this is also fantastic over makeup for a liquid highlight I'm telling you right now girl try it it works and layered it's beautiful this is moisturizing but overall it gives you more of an appearance of moisturization that is it for today's five minute friday let us know in the comments below what your favorite primers are for dry skin or any kind of skin type if you're watching i know a lot of you support me even if you don't have dry skin so thank you don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified every time i upload because you don't want to miss this I mean, I get notified every time I wake up because I wake up and I'm notified that I'm alive. So um, I'm already, I'm already supporting this channel. So please support it too. <laughs> what am I even saying? So follow me on Instagram at I'm Mallory Brook as well as all across social media at I'm Mallory Brook on Pinterest and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Happy weekend. All right.